Hi, my little brothers and sisters. This is John, and today I am at the ocean. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, cruising through Big Sur to the Bay Area, uh, where I'm going to help out there uh, in ministry. So today I have a message about uh, the high calling and the highest pinnacle uh, of the Christian faith. Well, there's no treasures like it, so it's the most beautiful thing of all. Uh, and before I do, let's just pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for the honor and the privilege to be called your sons and your daughters, God. And help us to love you and help us to uh, receive your love even greater in our lives so that we can know what it feels like uh, to know you, God, and to know your love. God, in Jesus' name I pray, help us to know your love. Amen. So. You know, as Christians, uh, we are all called to the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. This is our call. Uh, everyone has a different call. Some of us are evangelists. Some of us are pastors. Some of us are uh, take care of uh, uh, helps, helping people, um, helping the poor. Some of us are apostles. Some of us are prophets. Some of us have strong spirit. Uh, some of us operate very well in the spiritual gifts uh, and uh, are used in prophetic or even in, in, in miracles more than uh, others seem to be. Uh, these are all different calls that we have that we're all called to. And we should walk in our calls. Uh, but the high calling of God in Christ Jesus is, is there's a, there's a higher there is a higher purpose. Uh, and Paul said that none of these things compare uh, to 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 this. And what it was, is the highest thing that no, nothing else compares to, is to know and to be known by Jesus. To know Him. All of the callings and all of the ministry offices and all of the different things, none of these things compare to knowing and being known by Jesus. You know, Jesus is a person. And the number one thing we should do is humble, humble ourselves and get to know him on a personal level for who he is as God, as God's son, and also as our friend and our lover. And to know him and to be known by him. You know, a lot of times we want to know a lot of stuff about God's scriptures and about God's word. And sometimes when we, 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 do, we get too proud and we think because we know God's word so well that we know everything we need to know or we know a lot or we know more than our other brothers and sisters because we know a bunch of scriptures well. And we have them memorized and we can also take the Greek and the Hebrew. And knowing all those words and knowing all those verses is, is fine and you should. But it's nothing compared to knowing Jesus Christ for who he is as a person. You know, every person has a spirit in their body, okay? And Jesus Christ had a body 2,000 years ago, but he went up, and when he went up into heaven, it's kind of like his body dispersed into one Holy Spirit and came down to earth when he ascended, and he released his spirit down into earth, the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit wants to have a relationship with us and get to know us. And to be so, so that so when you think of a relationship with God, you cannot just look at it as a relationship with Bible verses, but it is a relationship with the person of God, and every person is really a spirit. So the Holy Spirit is really Jesus Christ. And so you need to get to know God, and He wants to get to know you. He has come to make His home in your body. Sometimes when you fall in love with somebody and you have a romance, uh, the two of you can feel so close that it feels like you know everything about each other. You know the breath they breathe. You know the, the, the heart, the things that are beating in their heart, their thoughts. You know all these things. Uh, there's this deep level of intimacy and a knowing, sometimes between a man and a woman when they're in love, that words cannot describe, that you cannot put into words this depth of knowing and this relationship, these two spirits, these two bodies becoming one. And this is what Jesus Christ is doing. He's wanting to pour uh, his spirit into you so that the two can become one. Your spirit, his spirit, and he wants to get to know you. And uh, when you read the word and when you read the scripture, sometimes you'll think everything can be put into boxes. Uh, but you cannot put a person into boxes. I assure you that if you try to get to know me, you will find out that there are so much depth to who I am as a being that you'll never get to the bottom of it. It's like psychologists are always trying to get to the bottom 
of, of, uh, of what makes a human and what it is. But they always, they always admit and they always are humble and say, well, we, we may never unravel the mystery fully. And if you try to figure me out, you'll never unravel that mystery fully. And there's always something new that I learn about myself every single day. And so getting to know God and getting to know him fully is, is, is even deeper than me. Look at this ocean. Look at how fast this ocean expands. Do you think that uh, you, will, you could ever understand how many sands is in this sea, sands here on this earth or how fast this ocean is? That's why humility is important, because God's, to, to know God is, is, is broader than this ocean, and to know God is to know is, is broader than every sand in the sea. And that's why humility is so important, to know him and to love him, uh, and, to, and, to, and, to, and to be willing to learn something new and something fresh. Eternity is deeper than this ocean. Uh, eternity is further than the sea. And all of eternity is found inside of God. God is not within eternity. Eternity is within God. And knowing God is going to be an eternal uh, mystery that is constantly unraveled daily, uh, further than the deepest oceans. And so humble yourself and get to know God on this level because when he comes, you want him to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Because Jesus Christ, he, he's, when, he, when he told that one person, you've been casting out demons and you've been healing the sick, but depart from me, I never knew you, uh, uh, you worker of lawlessness. You know, he never knew that person. And you want to know and to be known by God. So don't look at it as anything other than a relationship of love uh, and, and how deep a human is, how deep a human soul goes. God is even more deeper than that. He's, <coughs> he's so deep. I'm going to pause it real quick. <coughs> he's so deep that his, his depth has no uh, limits. And so you must keep yourself uh, humble. Like a lot of times you'll get some of these theologians who know the word of God better than you do or better than I do. And so then they think they can rule it over you. Uh, but you can know theology like the back of your hand and not know God at all. And a lot of times these theologians will never really encourage you to get to know God by his Holy Spirit. You know, they treat the Holy Spirit like an inspiration, like how you're, how, how like some Olympic athlete was inspired by some orphans to to uh, to to raise for a charity, so he ran a million miles, you know, like that, like some kind of inspiration. But God, the Holy Spirit is not an inspiration. The Holy Spirit is Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible says the Spirit is the Lord, and the Lord is Jesus Christ. So uh, get to know Him by His Spirit as He comes to make His home in you. Because you know, like when two lovers are each other, when two lovers are in uh, in a relationship with each other, they can know each other's subtle. Their, their thoughts, their feelings, their emotions, the subtleties. Uh, they don't even need to speak. They can feel it. They can sense it. And this is the kind of relationship that the Holy Spirit has a lot of times. He doesn't even need to speak. He wants us to feel him. He wants us to sense him. He wants us to know his feelings like you would know a lover's thoughts without even having to hear them speak it. Uh, this is uh, the kind of intimacy that the Holy Spirit uh, really works through the most. And also it's something that's totally available for you to daily learn as you build this deep and uh, Ultimately, it's, a, it's almost a spiritual romance with God. And this is the kind of thing that God wants. He wants to love and to be loved. He wants to love you and he wants you to love him as he loves you and to build this relationship. And this is where it all comes from. You want a thick anointing? Live this. Live this. Don't worry about uh, the power of God as much as you worry about this. Don't worry about how many demons you can cast about. Worry about this. Worry about this relationship. Don't worry about how... how, how how uh, big your ministry is. Worry about this. Worry about this relationship. To be known by God and to know Him. To be loved by God and to love Him. How deep, how vast is this ocean? Your relationship with God uh, to, and knowing Him is far more vast. You know, the Word of God is pretty deep and it goes pretty far and it's pretty eternal. But here we're not trying to know God's Word as a scripture. We're trying to know God. You know, he wants us to know his word, but when he says that he is the word, he wants us to know him. And there's no depth to our eternal God. So that's why I'm giving you this message of the ocean, because this ocean looks limitless and vast and powerful. But there's nothing more limitless and vast and powerful is our God, and to know our God, and to be known by him, and to love him from that place. And so that is the highest calling in Christ Jesus. Like, that's what Paul said. 
He said, I, I, I was a theologian and I knew everything. I knew the highest, greatest mysteries in the school of theology. But all of that I count as dung, crap, poop, in comparison to knowing Jesus. To knowing him and being known by him. Just like you know your best friend or your wife or your lover. This is a high calling. This is the highest calling and nothing compares to it. And this is the this is what Jesus Christ has brought us into. We should praise him for it and pursue it. Pursue this. Have your priorities in order. There's too many ministries pursuing all kinds of things of kingdom works. But when you, it says seek first the kingdom and all these things will be added to you. But you know what? When you're seeking first the kingdom, the first priority when you're seeking the kingdom is you should be seeking the king. And that's my message. Seek the king. And then the entire kingdom will be added into your life. The king's highway always leads to the king. So I love you and I bless you with all my heart in Jesus' name. And just check this out. I'm on the coast of California. And the Lord is so good to me. And my buddy Pee Wee in the bag because dogs are not supposed to walk here. <laughs> so I love you all and I bless you all in Jesus name. Amen.